Pop superstar Lady Gaga has made it no secret she's a big fan of rock and heavy metal music. She once even performed with Metallica during the Grammys. Metallica members James Hetfield and Lars Ulrich said they really enjoyed working with Lady Gaga in an interview with Howard Stern. James said, I just respect her as an artist. She was there for two hours before we even got there, working on her moves and thinking stuff up. She is extremely creative and a fearless artist. Lars said, Lady Gaga in particular, she loves metal. She was telling me that Metal Militia, which is a deep cut on her first album, Kill Em All, was her favorite song back in the day. Now it would appear that Lady Gaga is also a fan of Godsmack. On a new episode of the 2020 podcast, Godsmack drummer Shannon Larkin revealed that vocalist Sully Erna actually dated Lady Gaga for a brief period of time. Asked if the rumors were true that he and Lady Gaga were an item, he said, yeah, that's true, and that's not, I don't think, a secret. I don't think Sully would bum out if people knew he dated Lady Gaga. I mean, she's hot and she's mega talented. Asked why Sully hasn't talked about it, Larkin said, He's not Tommy Lee or whatever, or whoever the guy is now. What I mean by that is, Travis Barker, Tommy Lee, whatever, is dudes that have public girlfriends that are super famous too, but they're different than Sully. Sully's an East Coast guy. He's like me, Tony, and Robbie. We're East Coast dudes. LA bands and West Coast dudes, they're flashier, maybe, and their rock starism is more David Lee Roth than, I don't know, Eddie Vedder. You know what I mean? We're more Eddie Vedder even though we're East Coast. We're probably even flashier than Eddie. He'll show up in an army jacket. You don't even recognize him. Oh my God, that's Eddie Vedder. So we're in between them and dudes with flashy girls on their arms. So did he date her? Yeah. But did he ever tell anyone? No, except for his friends and us. The band we knew. It was a brief thing, by the way. In July of 2019, Sully revealed that the ballad Under Your Scars that the band wrote was actually inspired by Lady Gaga. He wrote, The song came to me shortly after I had spent some quality time with someone I consider a dear friend and have grown to admire and respect as one of the smartest and most talented artists today, Stephanie Germanata, who most of you may know as Lady Gaga. In the short amount of time we hung out, she made me realize that we all have these imperfections, these wounds that we carry, whether they're physical or emotional, that cut so deep they can cripple us. These feelings leave us vulnerable or embarrassed or even unworthy at times. And our human nature, when they're exposed, is to shut down rather than embrace them and realize that not only can we overcome them, but we can also become an inspiration to inspire others to have a voice and find their inner strength to show their scars off loudly and proudly to the world. Our scars are nothing more than our battle wounds from life, and they helped mold you into who you are today. Godsmack will release their brand new record, Lighting Up the Sky, next month on February 24th via BMG. The band released their first single from that record, Surrender, which was their first new release in over four years. That's your latest update from Rockfeed. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't yet, and check out the recommended video up on your screen.